Hello, this is the showcase part of my Whispering Ice Guide. It is just going to be running the Quick Gorge map. Now once you get the idea, you don't need to watch the whole thing, it's going to be choppy. If you watch part 2 where I'm explaining through gear, that will be a lot better because I won't be running around the map and my computer is not great. So to the gorge! Now I am running the increased AoE gem instead of the conquer effect gem. I would change it up for important bosses, but the increased AoE just makes clearing through traction a lot faster, so I tend to use increased AoE for that. Obviously with a conquer effect gem instead of an increased AoE gem, the AoE is still decent, definitely fine for bosses, and it about doubles my damage. But with an increased area regen, you don't even need to aim, you just kind of point in the general direction of things and you're going to die. Doing one or two casts is kind of the choice. Uh, most things will die in one cast, but a second cast kind of just ensures it. Doing a second cast will slow you down. But it's kind of a personal choice. I could just do one cast and everything and move on, and every now and again a blue with a high life total might survive. I have no fear of running into things. I have 7k years that doesn't really get touched, so I don't really have that much worries about dying. You can definitely be more careful if that is a concern with you. Bloods, I popped my bleed blast. I died a couple of times before I got a bleed blast for the bleed is very annoying. And obviously you get a lot of corrupted blood stacks very quickly. And you are constantly healing ice and death on the mains. Gorge maps, obviously not the most difficult map, this I feel it can be much more difficult maps. But Gorge is a nice kind of just simple line that showcases what the build does. The boss is going to be a little bit tougher, but I could always just take the second to swap it in a cold face gem to eliminate him in two seconds, but I'm not going to bother. Take, swapping in a conquer effect gem almost offset the time difference because it will take me 5 seconds instead of 2 seconds or something to kill him. So it's hardly worth spending the time swapping in a conquer effect gem at this point. If I was doing N-Siri or something, I'd definitely have a conquer effect gem in. I am only a level 84 though, so I am still a bit under level for some of the really high content and I'm going to be getting a lot more hit and therefore damage, health and everything else as I go. As you can see I just stack up the storms and it dies pretty quickly. And done. So that is the showcase of the build. You can watch the other part for the uh, explanation of how I made the character.